Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 Conquest of Paradise. I've been waiting around for hours for this Conquest of Paradise thing to actually fire, and now we have it, so let's give it a go. So, we have the uh, Random New World button, which is sweet. And I'm going to be doing a couple playthroughs. I want to play as a colonial nation, or a colonizing type country, that is. And But I also want to play as like a, a random province over here. So, whatever, let's just choose like the, yeah, the Pawnee. Sounds good. Got some native ideas, got some cool stuff. Single province little dude, let's just give it a go. We're gonna play uh, with the random new world, we're gonna play on AI difficulty normal. Just because I tried hard and the AI just like gangbangs you like right at the very beginning of the game, it's ridiculous. So we're gonna play on normal mode and uh, we're just gonna play and check out the new world stuff. This is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Get some popcorn. Where's that meme? This gonna be good. All right, so we can, as we can see, there's a new random world over here, and uh, every single time you load the game up, uh, like from a new scenario, it's gonna be totally random. So we're here with a Pawnee, and uh, we have three dudes. We have five tax income apparently. Three plus the two from our capital. That's pretty good. Uh, unknown resources yet. We haven't discovered them apparently. We've got. Ooh, look at the new icons. That's cool. National tax modifiers, stability cost, morale, global trade power, land force limits. Stability cost is low. Land maintenance modifier is low. That's cool. And we have a native council. One or more tribes ruled by a council of hereditary positions. Its members present unanimous decisions. After lengthy discussions, although one chieftain has the honor of being the official spokesperson... Wow, we have a 453, and he's only 21 years old. That's amazing. That's really good. Is he a good commander as well? No, he's not. He's terrible. Uh, but we'll let him lead troops. Why not? So, uh, what's the income situation? Oh, well, that's nice. We make 0.11 gold a month. So I can see that uh, paying for an advisor is going to be a little tricky. Trade, none. Can't westernize. Need uh, need the Europeans to come. So England's like somewhere over here, you know. Random new world. It's really cool. And we're like off on an island, but somehow we know about all this. So that's cool. Ooh, look at this. Mild winter. Arctic. Attrition plus one. Settler increase minus. Nelson Lawrence Estuary. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having that. So for, okay, missions and decisions. Improve our prestige, gain some stability. Improve relations with people, gain prestige. Improve relations with people, gain some prestige. Let's start off trying to play a friendly game, maybe, to begin with. So let's um, open these up. You have hosteled me, so let's try to improve relations with the other guy. That one. Let's start off with... Um, Heck, maybe even an alliance. Oh, he offered the same thing. That's good. So, okay. And then we can improve relations with him. We've got an alliance from the Shoshone. The Shoshone. What now? Where are the Shoshone? Show, Shoney. Ah, kind of tiny there. Um, I think oh, um, uh, the Sioux. Yeah, we'll accept the Sioux. We'll accept them both. We want lots of allies. So let's take a look at more of our stuff. So we got like um, stability is very inexpensive and only costs 67 points to boost. Still has the same effects. Lowers the migration cooldown. That's that's good. Wait, no. Each level of negative stability has the following effects. Migration cooldown. Positive stability just has the normal bonuses. Okay, that's fine. Everything's unified. This is new. Cool. Next migration is possible, 1449. Migrating Pawnee will lose control, but they will uh, choose a neighboring province and earn a boost in monarch power. I wonder how much monarch power. 
And then we have like these special native ideas, native admin ideas. When all three advancement groups are fully unlocked, you'll be able to change government type. Migration cooldown. I like it. We should migrate a lot. Let's migrate. It's time to migrate. Why did you break the alliance with us already? Why did you rival me? Why? Why did you do that? Wait a minute. I took the mission to improve relations with him. He allied me, then he broke his alliance, and this is the one that I actually took the mission for. Awesome. Awesome! Off to a great start, right? Whatever. Improve relations. Why, why would you... Why? Why would you rival me? Oh, because you've allied to a rival. I should have been more cautious in accepting alliances. These little natives are so fussy. Um, I do think we should build up some more guys. Let's build up two more. Get up to our force. Actually, our force limit's only four. Yeah, I'll just build up to our force limit. This is new. Personality. You can see the personality of people. Personality, human. Alright, let's give it a go. We've gained fish. Awesome. One of the weakest, weakest types. It's kind of annoying that the current price is modified by the entire world supply, even though we don't know anything about the new world. We know that there's 105 production, but that's kind of silly. So yeah, we clearly can't afford any advisors. Definitely with all of these enemies nearby, we can't afford to lower maintenance. The Nation of the Sioux, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their assistance in the Assiniboian Humiliation of the Sioux. I guess we accept. Can I do that? Can I, hum can I humiliate you? Send humiliation. Where is it? I want to send a humiliation. Claim guarantee. Send a warning. Well, if he's going to go into battle, I guess we go into battle too. We have failed to receive the following effects. That's fine. Let's try to improve our prestige now. We don't get any modifiers there. That's interesting. Fifth, sixth, seventh. So he's about to escape. I guess we just go siege. Stay out of my land. Cool new music. I imagine it doesn't take too long to siege, which is good. Could you please get out of my land? I'm tempted to attack you. We'll detach a siege. I want to keep that siege going. But I do want to join this battle, because it's going to be worth some, uh, some stuff. Can we set you as a rival right now? Good. Join the battle. Please don't lose. Why are we losing? How is it possible for us to lose? Hmm. Stupid crossing penalty. Where's the river? I didn't even see a river. Okay, we're the Pawnee. We've got like a little wolf thing or something. It's like a dog with a hatchet. It's a hatchet dog. He's sieging my lands. I don't like that. Hmm. We could hire a ruler, but that our leader, that is quite a bit though. I think I'd rather try to rush these ideas. These things look really good. They probably don't last forever though. Diplo tech cost minus one hundred percent. Are you serious? Holy crap. That seems really good. Get out why are you sieging my land? Go siege the guy that declared the damn war. And we just got pieced out. Sweet. It's fine. They just took all my money. <laughs> God. And we had to take out a one gold loan. No, you can't have access. Go, all of you go to hell. Naval research went wrong. Guess we're losing even more prestige. Wow, that was garbage. So they, they sieged right before I could. I'm going to insult you.
And uh, yeah, this is going to be a little tricky. Hmm. Can we can we migrate? <laughs> Progress towards migration. Okay. Of course, this this actually has better income than either of the neighboring provinces, so I don't know that we'd really want to migrate. Unless the uh, people around us move. Plus, we have a river estuary. Oh, he has the river estuary. If he moves, I want his land. Why don't you move? Let me take your land. Not only that, but you have naval supplies, which are actually worth less than fish, apparently. Oh well, it's fine. Um, you're friendly. Can we improve relations with you? We should have at least a ally. Nasty. Manpower recovery speed. Plus 100% prestige from battles. Yeah, we need to win a war. Like, I want to declare war on you. A rivaled person and have the plus 100%. You could gain a lot of prestige for winning some battles. I don't understand how I, f how I actually attack people, though. Like, somebody else humiliated somebody. I, I, how do I do it? Humiliate. I can't believe they took all my money. Bastards. Those bastards. We have an annul treaties. I didn't even get, I didn't even read what it said. Yeah, we have annulled trees with both of them. That's fine. Let's bring these guys home then. And improve relations with people that are a little bit further away. So, what can we do with all of our stuff? It costs... 2,083 power to actually take regular technology. Oh, that would explain why it's minus 100%. It's because you've got the 250% penalty, so... It's going to end up being even less... Still going to be more expensive than normal, even with that modifier. But, you know, we just fill these out as they come along, I guess, and give it a go from there. Let's go on speed 5. Waiting for truce timers. Knowledge is bliss? Sure. We have no revolt risk anyway. Kind of curious about maybe boosting stability. Not that it's really going to make much of a difference. The extra income is very insignificant. And we can build a basic building. Hmm. Build a unique building. Land force limits plus 10. Wow. That's huge. Advisor costs, local tax modifier. Goods produced. A longhouse plus one tax income. Still, it takes 10 years to make up for it. And if you're going to migrate every few years, I think migration is probably better. It's kind of like the way you're supposed to play, especially if we get this migration cooldown earlier. A loan is coming due. Yay! You can now invest in a native advancement. Oh, and we can pick any of them. It's not just one or the other. Okay, I thought it was like a line you had to go across. So migration cooldown, diplomatic reputation, better relations over time, a colonist. Hmm. Or we could just take the diplotech cost down. I think we take the migration. Since we're a one province guy, it makes sense to migrate a bit. Which also means that we can migrate right now. So even though we're going to lose income for doing this, I think we're going to migrate. Is this... what's up with this trade node? Is there no trade node here yet? What's going on with the trade node? Oh, I've got to click here. That's why. It's the California trade node. Local values, 
Are we making any money from trade? Is that how it works? Yes, we are. So in this node, with a Pawnee, we have very little trade power because we have negative prestige. And this province gives very little. But if we took one of the ones that had that like estuary, we could actually make some more money from from trade, maybe even more. So let's let's migrate. I think we should migrate. What do you think? Let's migrate. We're gonna migrate to Ojibwa. Pawnee will migrate and we'll get 50 50 50 for migrating. Pawnee will have to wait until 1452. Three more years to migrate. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. We migrated, bros. Some migratory. And we found fur. Awesome, which is a much, much better trade good than fish. My chief are subjects who embrace Cree have finally been able to prove their loyalties, so we are now accepting Cree. Our culture did that did our culture change or something? Resources depleted by migrants until 1468. Wow! That's a long time. This is cool. I like it. I like migrating. Let's migrate more. We migrate up here. Let's migrate all over the place. We're a migratory species. Peoples. We're, we're, we're birds. And apparently our force limit went down um, because we have less base tax income. So we're paying 0.13 extra per month for that. But we can afford it because we're making quite a bit more money now. We're making 0.32 from trade because this node... California node is, uh, we're still not, near, not not even at the top. Look at this guy, 19, holy crap. How did the Aztec have so much transfers from traders downstream? Damn, the Aztec are huge. The Navajo have two provinces. We're probably still pretty up here. You know, we got 7.2, it's pretty good. Capital in area. It's good. Yeah, we're doing good. And we can advance in another native advancement. So build cost, national tax modifier, stability cost modifier. Well, I don't really care about techs. I'm not going to do tech. I'm going to keep building these things up. So let's do stability cost. Tash. Probably the best one's going to be national tax modifier. I don't want to build buildings if we're going to move. This one's more of a permanent bonus. 500 admin power. Jeez. Seems like a lot. The Kree just moved. Sneaky. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here, though. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you soon.